Hey everyone, one of my favorite herbs is basil. And so I decided that I would be making a recipe for you that is using pesto sauce because it's just so good and it can be used in a gazillion different ways in different recipes. So today's recipe, I decided I would make a pasta dish for you. And we're gonna be using some salmon and some cannellini beans and some asparagus. And we're gonna to toss it all together. It's gonna to be quick and easy and it's gonna be delicious and nutritious. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. All right, we're gonna have two chef jokes today, so let's get started with the first one. What do you call an Italian fortune teller who has a negative outlook on the future? A pesto mystic. <laughs> All right, let's talk about our ingredients. First up, we have our pasta. You got some options here. I'm using bonza pasta, which is made out of chickpeas. It is gluten-free. You don't have to use that. You can use regular pasta. You could even use zoodles, or you could even do a combination of zoodles and any pasta that you want. And that way you're just bumping up your vegetable intake and it's very good. Next up is our salmon. Now you could use fresh salmon, but I'm making this simple and easy for you. We're using canned salmon. And I tell you, this is a good brand. It's expensive, but salmon is expensive. And that way you're getting some nice protein, good uh, omega-3s, and it's just really healthy. Next up is our pesto sauce. I'm using a store-bought pesto sauce today. You can do the same. You can also make it from scratch, which is really healthy. And I have a, a video for you. I can, I'll leave a link for you down in the description. You can find that and make your own if you want or a store-bought. Now what you wanna look for in a store-bought is really the ingredients. Check out those ingredients. What you want them to be uh, using is real olive oil, not canola oil, not soybean oil, or something else. Good pesto is made with olive oil. I'm also gonna be adding a can of cannellini beans here that I've already rinsed and drained. We have some fresh garlic, just a little clove there. I just put it through the old garlic press. Next, I'm gonna to toss in a little bit of shredded carrot. I have some asparagus here that I'm gonna cut up into bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna garnish this with some fresh basil, because I love basil. And I'm gonna spice it up with just a little bit of red pepper flakes. We'll need some salt and some olive oil. So I'm gonna start off here by working on the asparagus. I'm just gonna break off the ends where they break naturally. That way you get rid of the woody part. Feel free to sub in other veggies if you want. You could do broccoli, uh, zucchini. I mean, it's, you know, it's just a, your preference. I think asparagus goes really well, and if you like it, it's a good one to use. All right, I'm gonna give these a nice rinse, and then we'll chop them up. Okay, we're ready to start cooking. Here's our setup. I got my frying pan where we're gonna be mixing everything in here and cooking it in here. This is our pasta water over here. Let's put a little bit of salt in there and it's getting hot. My pasta is gonna take about 10, eight to 10 minutes to, to cook. So basically I wanna time everything so that everything comes out at the same time. So I've got my large frying pan over medium high heat. And what we're gonna do first is add some olive oil to that, get it hot and we're gonna saute our vegetables for just a few minutes, take the rough, you know, the raw edge off, get them, you know, slightly al dente. Whatever vegetables you're using, you'll wanna do that. So we'll toss those in along with the carrots. So we're gonna cook this for about four minutes or until the veggies are about al dente. Now I'm just gonna put a touch of salt in here just to bring out a little flavor. This is almost done. Now our pasta water is ready, boiling away over here. It's time to cook our pasta. So I'll drop that in and give it a stir. Check that in eight minutes. All right, it's been about four minutes here on the asparagus and the carrots. It is time to add the garlic. We're gonna to toss that in, work it in for one minute, just to mellow out the flavor, give it a good stir. I've turned my heat down to uh, medium low, and now we're gonna add our beans to the mixture just to heat them up. They're already cooked, of course. Same thing with the salmon, it's already cooked, so we're gonna add that in. I broke it up into little you know, pieces so that it would spread around. 
and break it up some more. I'm going to sprinkle in some red pepper flakes, just a few. I'm going to stir the pasta, make sure that's going well. Now I'm going to add the pesto sauce to this. And we're going to keep some of that pasta water because we might use it to thin out this sauce in our, in our dish here. So I've got the pesto sauce in there. Feel free to add more if you like more sauce. Now all we have to do is wait for the pasta to be done and it goes right in the pan and dinner is served. This is a quick meal any day of the week. While the pasta is cooking, we have time for chef joke number two. All right, so what did the Italian magician say after his trick? Pesto. Okay, pasta is done. I'm gonna drain it and I'm gonna pour it into our pan and then we're gonna mix it up. Now, because I like a little more pesto sauce, I'm gonna add just a little bit more to this. Just a little bit. Mix it in the best you can. It is ready to go, guys. This is time to eat. The only thing left to do for our dish, and it looks fantastic, is to chop up some fresh basil and I'll just sprinkle it over the top. Now, you see how quick and easy that was? I mean, this dinner is on the table in a matter of just a few minutes. I cannot wait to dig in. It's delicious. The sauce is what makes this dish. It is, you know, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of, you know, a little bit of everything in there. The basil really brings it to life. I just love this dish, guys. Hope you enjoy it. And if you love Mexican food, you're gonna wanna try my beef tostada here. That beef is so tender. This is oh so delicious with that sour cream, avocado, cheese, and dressing. Don't miss it. Go ahead and click that link.